All right, we're now joined by the head coach from Northern Kentucky in Darren Horn and student athletes Mark Wes Warwick and Trayvon Faulkner, both part of the All Horizon League tournament team. Uh, when you have a question for coach or the student athletes, please raise your hand. Dan will find you and please give your name and affiliation for transcription purposes. Coach, I know you're disappointed after a tough loss. If you don't mind, an opening statement, please. Yeah, I mean, gr great college basketball game. Uh, kind, kind of what you've come to expect, too, uh, I think, when uh, these two schools uh, get together. And, uh, you know, our, our, I'm, I'm so proud of our guys. They, they, they fought their butts off all year long. I, I don't remember the exact date, but at one point, you know, we're 5-8, and eight in, or, you know, mid-January, and I don't think anybody thought we'd be sitting here. But we've got a group of high-character guys uh, that really came together and, and, and worked and, and believed and uh, put in the time to, to, to put us in this position. And, uh, you know, I, I, after Quez, I, I was never in doubt that we w would or could win the game. And after Quez hit the shot, you know, those are situations we work on an awful lot. And, you know, I mean, give them credit. Calvin made a terrific uh, floater. And, uh, you know, at the end we executed well. We just we just didn't get the shot off uh, that we needed to get off. But, uh, you know, so, pr so proud of our guys, especially these seniors. Uh, Trayvon and Adrian and uh, Bryson Langdon, they've done an awful lot for Northern Kentucky basketball. All right, first question. <coughs> Please raise your hand. We'll get your microphone to you. Right there in the back. And your name and affiliation, please. Yeah, Caleb No, WCPO, ABC in Cincinnati. Coach, on the final possession there, uh, the way that it played out, is that the way that you drew it up or was it a little different? Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it's designed to get the ball to, you know, a guy that we think can go make a play. In, the, in this case, it was Sam. And uh, to try to get downhill and he, either get it on the rim or find somebody open for a shot. I'd have to see the video. I don't think the pass was great. I think it took Bryson out of the shot. Uh, probably needed to drive it uh, out of that a little quicker instead of, of holding it. But, uh, yeah, in that situation, you're, you're trying to get up the floor as fast as you can and get the best, best shot you can get. Next question. Joe Daneman with WXIX in Cincinnati. And, Coach, you've been doing this long enough, and certainly the guys um, have been playing long enough that these kind of moments happen, these last-second shots, these, these hard conversations you have inside the locker room. Is there anything you can say to these guys in that moment after the game when this kind of moment happens, when they're that close to going to the big dance? No. I mean, there, there's nothing that could be said other than that you're proud of them and, and, and you love them. And, and uh, you know, I appreciate all the work that they've, they've put in, how they've represented Northern Kentucky University, uh, especially for the guy, the seniors that, that won't be back. Um, you know, but there's not a lot that, that you can say. You know, when, when you're in a one-bid league, this, this is everything. And, uh, you know, we're really proud in our three years that we've been in the championship twice with a chance to win it in advance. Uh, but, uh, you know, to lose it is uh, – there's not really much that can be said to, to, to make them feel better. Let's get the Northerner here in the front row. Yeah, Brendan Connolly with the Northerner. Uh, Coach, you said last night that tonight was going to be a war. You didn't expect anything less. When you got out to a 16-point lead, uh, did you expect them to come back as fast as they did? Well, you, well you, not as fast as they did, but of course we expected them to make a run. I mean, you know, they're they're in the championship for a reason too. And, uh, you know, I, I think to me the thing that was surprising about it was, uh, you know, it was – Sometimes in games like this, you know, your offense can go a little bit and that, you know, leads to it. But, you know, we've been so good defensively in the last couple of weeks especially, but really over the last month. And, uh, you know, we, we were not good during that stretch. And give them credit. They did some good things with cutting and, and uh, getting Basile and, and, and holding around the basket. But uh, we, we were not good defensively during that stretch. And I think that affected us on the offensive end as well. Next question. Hey, Drayvon, we saw you after the game. It looked like this one hit you really hard, and we can all understand why it was so difficult for you. Can you verbalize what you were feeling in that moment after the buzzer went off? Crushed. Yeah, next question, guys. That's good. Over to the front, please. Right here, yep. Uh, Bob McDonald, Horizon Roundtable. Um, the matchups between Northern Kentucky and Wright State are <laughs> – this is like the latest example of that rivalry, and it's coming borderline legendary. Sometimes you get them, sometimes they get you. Um, what from this particular matchup are you going to carry uh, m uh, moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I, I think tournament games are different, right, because there's something different on the line. Uh, so, 
Yeah, I think these are kind of in a category of their own, right? Um, you know, I think I think we'd won three of the last four against them, and um, as you say, it's it, it's always a back and forth. But you know, you you get to the championship game, and you know, and, and I know fans really appreciate that and the rivalry, uh, and I'm respectful of that. But like it. it it's going to be a war, you know, because the other teams in the championship for a reason too, and so um, not not surprised by that tonight. And and again, I just you know they made one more play than we did. Uh, Calvin Kidd made a really tough loader. Go ahead, Brandon Seho with uh, WLWT in Cincinnati. Marquez, you're on fire all, all game. You make a big shot there at the end. Just describe to us the back and forth and how tough it was at the buzzer when, when you guys weren't able to get a final shot off to go in and win this thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, we got that stop. We, maybe we were down by two. Um, Ran one of the plays to, for me to get an open look. Um, I knocked it down. You know, just at that point we got to get back and stop the ball. And they made you know, made a good play. Calvin put up for a jump shot. Um, so I don't think we got the look that we wanted at the end, obviously. But um, you know, still did what we could. If I can follow Please. up quick, quickly, just the, uh, the the fight in this team. You guys were up double digits, and then they go on a run. You guys come back and fight till the end. How proud are you of you and your teammates to have that grit there at the end still? I mean, very, very proud. I mean, of everybody who played a lot, who didn't play. I mean, every day in practice, everybody brought it. I mean, I can't say enough, especially about Trayvon right here. I mean, he's put his heart out every single day since day one. So, I hate to see it go like that. Let's get back to Caleb here for the next one. Coach, obviously we asked Trayvon about the emotional moments after the game. Obviously you see the emotion in your players on the floor and in the locker room. How tough is that for you to see that emotion in your guys afterwards? Yeah, it, it's brutal. I mean, you know, I anybody that has anything to say about uh, college athletics or what's going on in college athletics or NIL or any of that stuff, they need to spend a few minutes in a locker room like ours. Uh, th th these guys pour their hearts out, man. It, it means a lot to them. Um, and um, – they mean a lot to each other. You know, they're, they're, you know, I was out of coaching and got back because of this, and this hurts. Uh, but, you know, this is what it's all about for me. And, uh, you know, you're trying to build that. And, and you know what, it's – there's no greater lesson for, for, for life than having to go through this. These guys did everything they could, and, and, and it didn't work out the way they wanted it to. And uh, that, that, that's a hard lesson to learn. But uh, it's, it's really hard because at the end of the day, you know, I've been there as a player and a coach. You know, we want it for these guys, and and a couple of them have been there. Uh, several of them qualified for it, but the tournament got canceled on us uh, two years ago. So, it's uh, it's hard, really hard. Any other questions for coach or student athletes? Guys, we'll let you go. Thank Congratulations you. on a great run, fellas.